Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 5 of The Great Adventure here in Crusader Kings 3 where last time we got our kingdom title formed, we uh, renamed a few things um, around some of the uh, some of the duchies we had in here and our kingdom title itself and uh, for this episode and maybe a few episodes the plan is pretty simple we are going to be doing a lot of raiding and we're going to be doing this so we can build up our little island here prepare to you know start invading India proper um, and taking a lot of land off of all these guys so raiding is great because we're feudal so we got feudal raiding which means uh, we can just well it's a really nice setup suffice it to say also um, I gotta say I do realize when I made my culture I didn't actually um, I didn't miss with the aesthetics um, this is fine. Um, I wish I had made the military equipment Norse and the naming practices just Norse. I wish I had done those. Um, but I completely forgot to change the aesthetic. So we didn't get the worst outcome there. Um, kind of just have to deal with that, I guess. Um, I guess we can say that some people some people just decide to adopt more of the local culture. Some people just decide to adopt less. As for my dynasty, we'll be adopting less. <laughs> I can tell you that right now. Um, like, I, I'm gonna try to keep all the names Norse, uh, as far as I can. Um, so I believe our court grantor should be going up. Yep, sure is. Um, I would also love to change the pillar at some point if we could. Um, back to Bellicose, because that just makes more sense for us. I had to change it back, I had to change it away from Bellicose when reforming the culture, or, um hybridizing the cultures, because you have to pick certain stuff from each culture, and I was mostly picking stuff from Norse. Um, ooh, a cat. I can't say no, but it is going to make Hastings live longer, when perhaps Hastings shouldn't be living longer. Um, I'm, I'm going to name the cat Garfield. That's what I always name my cats in this game. Maybe not the most uh, immersive thing there for me to name my cat Garfield, but like I said, it's, just, it's what I always name them. <clears throat> and I can't break with tradition now, so. <clears throat> yeah, we're going to do a lot of raiding. We're going to buff up our realm with all this money we get from all this raiding. Someone's planning to kill my champion. Don't do that. I'm going to go out to sea here because we don't want to walk through these guys. They have a very big army. about this on the way okay my friend the king of sweden died <laughs> which gave me a large amount of stress <laughs> even though we've not been able to communicate for years um <laughs> I, I was very stressed out about it all right we got a capture oh we have someone who can marry who are you my granddaughter um, uh, well, I'm not gonna marry you to some 52-year-old guy, um... I wonder if there's anyone of our culture who she could marry. Um... There is this guy. That's, uh, that's my son's firstborn, right? Uh, no. Firstborn daughter. Yeah, I'm gonna have her marry someone who's of our culture. I've already got his son betrothed. His son is chaste. Interesting. It was brought up that maybe a chaste character could make use of the chastity belt. Um, so. There you go. That would work, I guess. Um. Right, and we've got... Two other granddaughters here, 10 years old. Maybe we could find a nice betrothal here. Um, if I did marry um, someone, I would want to marry someone of the local culture if it wasn't someone of my culture, so someone who's Tamil. Um, yeah, there's not many options here. Did either did my vassals have kids? He's got a bunch of... Well, here we go. This could be a patrol right here. 
Um, let's see, you are the child of my second born son. Yeah, marry this guy's kid to, to my granddaughter. Is it your heir? It is your heir. Okay, so that's a future alliance right there. You are a mayor, so you don't have kids. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, I forgot I was up here raiding. Oops. <laughs> okay, no, we weren't. We haven't finished one. Cool. And oh, not that one. Let's see if we can find a betrothal for that other daughter. Um, should we do that right now? Thank you for the bell. Thank you. I appreciate the bell ringing. Very cool. Um, let's see. What Tamil cultured characters? Okay, There's only one option. It's the primary heir of a kingdom within the kingdom. Okay, sure, why not? Not many options. <laughs> but yeah, it's a future alliance, I guess. You're at war. I'll probably just head home. No one else in my dungeons. Cool. How's the succession looking, by the way? I'm gonna lose. See, I really wish I wasn't losing this. I really wish I was just losing the Maldives. That would be way cleaner, I feel like, if I was just losing the Maldives. Like, I think that would be a nicer succession overall. I think it would make more sense, personally. Um, okay, let's see what we can build in our capital here. Trade ports, we want those everywhere we can have them. Um, I'm gonna hold off on upgrading the other stuff, since I know I'm not gonna get that. <laughs> um, we'll just focus on our on the holdings we know we'll be getting with the next guy. I mean, I could, I've, I've tried the whole conquering land for a second born son before. Ooh, the, ooh, the conqueror. Yes. Hasting the conqueror. Wow, how about that? Who are you? Uh, yeah, you can have a hook on me. Because you can't do anything with that. Made a counselor die. My steward. I'm not gonna take a guy who's that good at marshal and make him not my marshal. Um, you got 11. 11's fine, I guess. Oh, game is lagging a little bit there. Okay. Eventually, we're also going to have to buff our minute arms. Um, oh, improved opinion with the vassal. Cool. Eventually. But yeah, that's a great nickname for Hastings the Conqueror. In these new lands, conquered Sri Lanka. Showed up. Just chilling. You know how we be. Uh, yeah, sure. Peasant Uprising, I would guess. Yes. Is a peasant uprising. <laughs> yeah, I think we're gonna, you know, like I said, we're gonna consolidate a lot. We're gonna get our island very under control in terms of uh, culture and religion um, to as great a degree as we can. And then we'll start pushing into new, in, into the north here. Once again, it's a shame that I can't make you not... Because I'm, I know how this works. If I give him the Maldives... Then he's gonna be in line for two of these counties. It's so weird. Like I've heard, I've seen that strategy before of just conquering new land for your um, vassal. But as far as I can tell, in all the playthroughs I've done, um, that's not really how that works. Uh, if you conquer land and give, if I were to give Kohler their land, he would still need to inherit two of my counties. So it doesn't matter. 
is basically my experience with it. Oh, I've not been on pause this whole time. Oh, and I've also been chilling speed five for a bit since we're uh, since we're chilling here. I think I'll let the peasants spawn. We'll fight them and then we'll go raiding. Forget a memory. I defeated. Oh God. I hope I defeated that thing. <laughs> That's probably good for all of humanity if I did. Um, <laughs> I don't remember doing that, but I don't want to take a critical mental break. So you can forget memories. That's very interesting. So I guess he has dementia or Alzheimer's. <laughs> so it's right here. This is the memory, 12th of June. Um, and if I go back in, I can see that, God, he declared war on me, and that I imprisoned him, but there's no defeated. So you can forget memories, how about that? That's kind of sad. <laughs> um, well, we've basically got everything here. Um, I mean, I guess we do need this. Um, remember the day my son Kohler was born, my amical son. Memories like these bring me comfort. No matter what happens, I know that my family is there for me and that how house he's standing stands strong. Uh, Heimdall's sight guides us. I will treasure the thought. Can't give you money because that would cause me a mental break. You want to make a box. Very competent. Sure. Can you convert? No. Okay, let's get her married off. Okay, I'm rat free, so Hastings gonna be living for a while. <laughs> it would appear. Ooh, what's this? Oh, okay. This is really annoying that I have vassals who also raid. We're just going to come down on them with the full might here. Oh, my wife has died. Uh, okay, Hastings probably not going to be remarried. He was with her for a while, so. This is completely unnecessary, by the way, but. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and just demands. And uh, we're probably just going to execute you. We don't tolerate any dissent here. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> And also, that's all the martial focus is done. Why don't we go learning? Let's see how long we can make Hastine live. <laughs> and uh, let's go raiding again. These guys are open for raiding. You shouldn't be able to fight back. <laughs> Fortunately, I think a lot of the people around here are too big for my vassals to raid them, but not so big that I can't raid them. So that's a positive. Oh, wow, that's a beefy man. Jesus, yeah, bring this guy aboard. Hello. There's no... Okay, fine. Marry this, uh... North woman. It's a very big guy. <laughs> and we're raiding. We're raiding. Very cool. Love a bit of raiding. Love a bit of ransoming. I can't really take a critical mental break right now. Okay, this is my great grandson. <laughs> we have a great grandson now. Uh, for the record, this is bad. You do not want to be living this long. It just causes so many issues. Um, I would not recommend it if you're trying to play in a way that is optimal, but if you don't care about that, um, then yeah, there's a lot of ways you can push a character's uh, lifespan. 
to, to the limits. Uh, I've gotten lucky here because I have a cat. I'm um, getting a cat and a dog is the best because they can both give you health buffs. Um, wow, a lot of stuff has already been raided, huh? Um, oh, this can be raided again in two days. So we'll go up here. Commanders. Cool, cool. And now we do more raiding. Against guys who can't fight back. Hey, Garfield loses me some stress. Very cool. Uh, sorry. Sorry I had to do it to you. But um, I don't want my dungeons full, and I get piety every time I execute someone, so it's kind of a no-brainer. But oh, is this the guy I have a truce with? Um, yeah, I have a truce with this guy for 19 years. <laughs> okay, this is the Varangian adventure, I think it is. Which is uh, kind of annoying. But I guess it makes sense. And this stuff can be looted very soon, so we're just going to stand here and wait until this stuff can be looted. I think. So we're kind of low on supply at this point, but should be able to finish all this off. Here we go. And back home. Go cool. cool. Easy stuff. Oh God! <laughs> it's happened to him. Oh no. I'm um, also. Oh what? What if? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> um. Wait. Whoa. Um. Can I edit your name? Oh God. He's actually gotten a name that's. Uh, I think. Okay, I can't. Um, he's also lost his face. Uh, so that's kind of terrifying. Uh, that was quite the jump scare there. Didn't know this was a horror game. Who is this? Oh, you need to convert. And uh, you... Let's see, who do we got that's highborn? Um, so this is the daughter of my deceased daughter. And I think, personally, Hasty would want to keep her close by. It was the only child of my deceased daughter. So I'm not going to marry her off to some foreign lord. We're going to keep her married with um, some acid true nearlandish guy. And matrilineal, matrilineally, so she can stick around. Um, she's close to being a shield maiden, honestly. But, uh, no. I could probably make her one if I gifted her an artifact. Um, we can do that, right? Let's just see. We could. Maybe I just give her the mace. Oh, I can't. Um, do I need to not have the mace equipped, potentially? There we go. I get a critical mental break, but I think it's worth it. Now, let's host a feast. First, or hunt? Hunt does more. So call a hunt. I'll gift this mace. I know the mace is good for um, what we have, but I really want her to be a shield maiden. There you go. 
So my only daughter's only daughter keeping her around and she's a shield maiden. That's cool. That's nice. It's a nice little storyline. Alright, let's get some buildings going. Can we upgrade this? Okay, we can't. No. So we'll upgrade that. Um, like I said, we'll hold off on upgrading other stuff that I'm not going to be getting upon succession. Um, and you can get a farms and fields. And you know what? I was going to say elephants. Let's get elephants right now, but we can't. Um, let's grab a thing of Varangian veterans then. I'm not going to imprison Raymond. Just give me money. Fine, it's fine. It's really nice though. I like I like uh, his his only his daughter's only child being a shield maiden and staying in court and everything. Very cool. Glad I kept that tradition. I was uh, hybridizing our cultures. Let's see. Uh, I'll let those Ferengian veterans fill in, and then we'll see if there's any more raiding that could be done. Uh, no. You like me enough anyway. You're a peasant leader? Oh, he's dead. Okay. Um. Okay, who took over? This child took over. Um. Okay. <laughs> well, we've got someone with 21 diplomacy. So they can they can go and do that. Wonder if I could educate you. I could. Let's make this guy into a nice vassal. He's already got um patient, which is good. Let's see if we can make him into an even nicer vassal. A nice content unproblematic vassal is what we'd love to have there. Someone murdered someone. Good to know. Uh, he's got good marshal, sure. And let's see. Uh, you, you like me well enough. Maybe she'll be down to convert when she gets here. Yes. Do we have any courtiers that aren't converted? Let's see. You. Okay, I'll sway you a little bit so we can get you converted over. You, probably not going to convert. Oh yeah, this is my son's... <laughs> Right. Um, oh, and his son's sadistic. Cool. Well, we've already got this line kind of integrated with local culture insofar as they are, um, you know, his wife uh, was uh, someone from the local culture. So I think we'll keep this going. Just have them further integrate with local culture. I mean, there's an option right here. Alliance with this guy. That would mean I couldn't raid him. And that is actually, that's not local, is that? <laughs> that's more local, but she's going to have the burlap sack all the time. That's way up there. Because um, there's no Tamil people. No boat pods in, like, Tibet. Um, Burmese. Yeah, that's probably going to be pretty far, too. Yep. There's a Sinhala person. It's not as far. She's got a bad congenital... Oh, there's a Tamil person. Intelligent as well. Let's go ahead, let's do that. So, yeah, this line of our dynasty is going to be far more integrated with local cultures. See how that goes. 
And we can pick up an alliance. Very cool. Alright, and those Frankian veterans should be coming in very soon. There we go. So let's even go on one little raiding trip here. And yes, we indeed can. Obviously, I always lead my raiders myself. Let's go grab some stuff over here. Sure. Look who just people taxes me. I'm, I'm his educator, so... One of my bodyguards died. I don't think I need to re-employ a bodyguard right away. Oh wow, that's a lot of captures I just got. <laughs> Including the Raj himself. How about that? I mean, we've got a lot more, but... Just gonna have to clear out my dungeon real quick because he doesn't want to pay for them. Seems like a lot of this land has been consolidated. Ooh. It's kind of rough. Um, Alright, here we go. I'll grab this and then we'll go. And away we go. Nope. Got to see, please. Oh, Garfield gave me two two pieces of gold. Thank you, Garfield. Very cool. And back we go. And I'll see if I can spend a bit of this money. Oh, wait. Let's also see if we can convert you. We can. So I don't need to be swaying you anymore. Uh, another one of my counselors died. My spy master, who was pretty good. Um, but hey, we've got someone with 26 intrigue. A Burmese lady. Alright. Um, let me get a couple of build. Nope, actually, we are still building things in all these holdings. How about we grab elephants? Why not? We've got elephants now. Hastine has mastered elephants. Very cool. <laughs> Alright, I think it's a good place in this episode. So, um, yeah, next time we'll probably uh, continue with the rating, see when the succession hits, because we're still feeling fine. Um, it's probably going to be a while at this, at this rate. Um, so, why is everyone getting ill? That's weird. And fortunately, my grandson seems to have gotten his face back. One more action. Let's pick his focus. Let's make him a diplomacy focus. All right. And I think that does it. Thanks everyone for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Hope to see you all in the next one. Bye. Bye.